So let's say that you recently got into Phantom Forces. Uh, I'm sorry. But you think, oh my god, I'm in a lobby with all these high-level players who have all these high-level guns. How am I ever going to play this game? Well, my friend, today I'm going to show you just how, because with just a few easy-to-obtain attachments, you can take your low-level weapons to the next level. Ah. Uh? Ah, uh, see what I did there? Attachments are a really basic concept. You want a weapon to work a certain way, so you bust out some Elmer's glue and you put the two together. Wow, you have a slightly different weapon. Congrats. But it's not always easy picking out attachments, especially if you don't know what all of these uh, silly, wacky numbers mean. So we'll keep it as simple as possible today by just using our eyeballs and observing. There are a few ground rules that I have to set though. First, any attachment that I recommend cannot require more than 100 kills and any weapons that I recommend cannot be above level 25. Also, just because you may be a veteran of the game doesn't mean that you can't enjoy the video, so stick around, it's gonna be wild. We'll start by picking a base here. We'll go with a carbine to narrow it down. Let's go for like maybe a G36K, one of my least used weapons in the entire game. Stock recoil isn't super great, but we can fix that with a couple of cheap methods. For just 10 kills we can attach on a z point it's a very underrated red dot site that sure is a little ugly but it's not super intrusive and will do the job anyone can get 10 kills that's literally like baby's first fps lobby for just 30 and 50 kills respectively you can unlock both the suppressor and the r2 suppressor but for now we'll go with the r2 as it dampens recoil slightly unfortunately we still have a bit of vertical recoil but it caps out pretty quick and becomes actually pretty accurate to try and reduce some of that vertical recoil we can also attach on a vertical grip which only requires 45 kills to get and of course we can can top it all off with the addition of a red laser. This entire build can be unlocked at level 6 and with just requiring 50 kills. And honestly, you've got a pretty nice loadout going. Actually kind of impressed by this, not gonna lie. But let's say carbines aren't really your style, you prefer more of like a slower, longer range kind of gameplay. Well, in that case, it's really hard to go wrong with the level 16 Scar L. Even stock, this has fairly low recoil and it zooms in fairly far with just the iron sights, but it has incredible range damage for how early game it is. So since we're looking at a bit further range here, we could say toss on an EOTech XPS 2. While this has slightly less magnification than the Z point, I feel that I have better luck placing targets in my crosshair with this sight. There is ever so slight side to side recoil as well, which we can reduce actually a pretty decent amount by using a flash hider. This both gets rid of your weapon's flash when firing, but it also provides a slight recoil control as well. This is our most expensive attachment though so far, requiring 100 kills, but that goes by very quick. I would also suggest sticking with a vertical grip here as well as a red laser. Now we've got a really good budget build that works very well at medium ranges and in some case even far distance. Battle rifles are a category that, relatively speaking, I feel doesn't get as much love as it definitely deserves. But luckily for us, we get at rank 2 the M14, which I'd say is in at least the top 20 best guns in the game. You get a ton of damage, but sadly a ton of recoil. And really, there isn't all too much that you can do about it, but we can still make it work well. In my personal use case, I find this gun is a lot more useful at closer ranges, and for that, I would say something like the Delta Sight is perfect. It's a great red dot that takes up very little of your screen and only requires 60 kills to unlock. Now, we do have a little recoil rotation which we can try and dampen with a regular suppressor, and I find this works fairly well. To be honest as well, I don't really want to run the vertical grip on this, so I would say just running like a laser in both the other and under barrel categories with the fact that we're capping this at 100 kills is totally fine. I feel like two lasers will be more beneficial at closer ranges anyway. Honestly, I went a lot more crazy with this loadout than I thought I would have. I got like a 14 kill streak with it, and it's fairly accurate for these closer up engagements. Definitely would recommend. SMGs. <coughs> <coughs> SMGs, of course, have a bit of a playstyle of their own, which is personally a go-to for me. Holding W and Mouse 1 are two of my favorite things, after all, and I think my inner pyro main would agree. It's a hard pick, but I'm gonna have to say the P90 is a pretty nice balance between damage, recoil, and ammo capacity, all while being just level 24. The sight is kind of up to you here, but I personally think the EOTech 552 works super well while only requiring 85 kills. Again, I think both the R2 suppressor mixed with two lasers works really nicely. But if we really want to stretch the distance out, though, let's whip about the ye old intervention. It had to be done eventually. This is one I'll say that is really totally fine completely stock. I, I couldn't really ask for anything better than the stock scope. And really, it's just kind of up to you whether you want a suppressor or a laser. It really just kind of comes down to a matter of preference, but honestly, completely stock this thing is incredible. Yes, there are a lot more weapons and combinations that you can clearly make in this game, but this is just a start of ideas that I think would work pretty well early game for maybe a newer player or someone who's not as experienced. So now I pass the torch to you guys. What are some really good early game guns and attachments that you'd recommend to somebody who might have either never played the game or is fairly new? Let me know in the comments below. I also have a guide to the best guns to pre-buy if you'd like to check that out as well. I leave that up on screen and in the description below along with a level up guide if that's your thing. Thanks for watching. Check out my Phantom Forces playlist if you haven't already. Become a channel member, all that awesome stuff. Enjoy your day. Hope this helped. Subscribe for more. Oh, uh, car?
Missed, bro, by an inch. Okay. We're gonna rush mid. I'm, I get your mid. Yeah, they're rushing mid right now. Watch your mid. Watch your mid. Oh, I've done it. <laughs> I've done it. <laughs> see me, see me, see me. 